Well, we are in early October, but the White House is already thinking Christmas. Yep, got to plan ahead. More than 17 million U.S. Christmas trees are harvested annually, but only one can have the presidential seal of approval. And as 69 News reporter Bo Colt now shows us, this year it's coming from South Mannheim Township, Schuylkill County. Man, that's a big one. Camera crews aren't typically part of the hunt. Ooh, that's huge. For a conifer. About 15. Unless following White House Superintendent of Grounds, Dale Haney, and Chief Usher Robert Downing in their search for the White House Christmas tree. I guess we're going to take the furniture out of the room to get the tree in if we do this one. <laughs> yeah. Evergreen Acres Christmas Tree Farm in Schuylkill County is the 2022 Grand Champion Grower. And since 1966, the winner of the National Christmas Tree Association's competition has presented a tree to the First Lady. It's then displayed in the Blue Room. The seed from these trees came out of a genetically improved seed orchard out of West Virginia. And the tree from Paul Sheeler's farm will be Pennsylvania's 11th White House Christmas tree and his second. So what do you guys like so much about growing Christmas trees? I like the to see how they develop over the years. Sheeler's family started selling Christmas trees in 1953. In 2000, he presented a Douglas fir to then First Lady Hillary Clinton. I've taken over the family business. And this year, he passed the business to his son, but kept the emotional ties. He does a lot of the cutting, mm -hmm. and I do a lot of the bailing. And as I come across the tree, I keep thinking, this tree is going to be the focal point of somebody's Christmas. And it kind of makes you feel warm. And after the conspicuous search... Don't break any branches. Yeah. <laughs> this 20-year-old, 20-foot-high, con-color fur fit the bill. We have at least 100,000 people walk by and see this tree, so that's why it's so important that we pick the right tree, too. With deep family roots. Bo Colt now, 69 News.